get a little closer? Was over there before. Cool. They're full of the insane gorillas. Really? Yeah, there's a gorilla running around with big guns. Oh, wow. In, in struggle in the trenches. No bullshit reprints of other people's articles. Fantastic. All written by our own members. Here are involved in struggles. No professional writers. We don't put our names on the articles because it's a collective effort. You don't want to, it. You don't want to glorify individuals. You want to do the mass movement. We don't want cults of personality like a lot of other groups in the left have. And they'll go nowhere. United will never be defeated. A people united will never be defeated. A people united will never be defeated. The struggle continues. Thank you very much. Look at the A9 Anonymous. I can't wait till this takes to the streets. Oh man, I can't wait. I'm actually starting a PAC campaign in Brooklyn. I'm starting a public awareness campaign for anti-geoengineering. I have a billboard that I've picked out. Yes, nice. <laughs> My friend gave me this this morning. It was a strange coincidence. Yes, indeed. No trabajo. No más. No más. No más. No más. Thank you. A friend of mine gave me this this morning. What a coincidence. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict, convict, send the killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict, convict, send the killer cops to jail. The whole damn system is guilty as hell. Indict, convict, send those killer cops to jail. on the stage, the two brothers who founded the Stop Mass Incarceration Network, Dr. Cornell West and Carl Dick. Take this and get me in the photo with it while it's recording. Now this brother right here, he doesn't talk like the preachers I heard when I was growing up. His brother has put his heart, his body, and yes, his soul on the line for the people. To stand with those who have no voice. I give you Dr. Cornell West. Oh, what a blessing to be here in New York City. Take a stand when you're willing to take a risk and tell the 
the truth and the condition of truth is always to allow suffering to speak. And when suffering speaks, the powers that be have to respond in some way. And it's been too many folks, not just murdered, not just killed, systematically disrespected. And we reach the point where we can't take it any longer. Enough is enough! for 400 years. We've been stigmatized for 400 years. And we have a freedom movement that is every generation. Those who've been able to tell the truth and bear witness. So the truth ain't no joke. The intelligence ain't no joke. Malcolm X ain't no joke. Curtis Mayfield ain't no joke. Aretha Franklin ain't no joke. Bob Marley ain't no joke. Nita Simone ain't no joke. The Reverend Dr. Gardner, Steve Keller ain't no joke. Dr. T ain't no joke. We here because we love the folk. And when you love folk, you hate the fact they've been treated unjustly. You love the fact they've been treated unfairly. And if we don't do something, the rocks are gonna cry out. of it is the love supreme of John Coltrane. Because we love the people. And when you love the folk, you tell the truth and you stand up for them. How many of y'all love the people? How many of y'all love the people? You've got to love the people. That's the only way you be empowered to be able to stand together of all colors, all sexual orientations, all cultural, all civilization. We here because we love and respect the people. We love those who are oppressed in the Middle East. 500 Palestinian babies in 50 days. We love the people. We love those killed by the U.S. Jones in Somalia and Yemen. We love the people. We love the people. We love our poor white brothers and sisters in Appalachia catching hell. We love the people. We love them in Asia, but we love them in New York, and we want to be accountable. Pass them out. Pass them out. Yeah, take a few. Don't be too confused. Pass them out. Yes, sir. Here we go. Pass them out. All life matters. Brother and sister shot down with the police, black president, black attorney general, black captain security of homeland, and not one policeman sent to jail. That's a key sweat moment. Something, something just ain't right. Something, something just ain't right. And I don't know about you, but I come from a people and a tradition that says if you don't stand for something, you, you stand for anything. Yes. And that's why I want to introduce to you my dear brother Carl Dix. Now people have raised the question, why would a revolutionary Christian like me, a Jesus-loving free black man like me, work with a revolutionary communist like Carl Dix? And we say, don't confuse a jazz orchestra with the military band. In the military band, everybody got to hit the note in the same way, at the same time. I come from a jazz people. We want everybody to raise your own voice. We don't want to see a three. We don't want to see your humanity. Just raise your voice and get on the love train and think of stand. That's why I work with a revolutionary communist like Carl Dix. We don't have the same, but we own the same love train. That's why we're here in New York.